Hey folks, it's me, Christiana Gaudet. It is Monday, today's President's Day, so some of you have it as a holiday, but that won't keep us from doing your three card weekly reading. So today's date is the 17th. Today we'll be doing a reading to look at the available energies for us this week, the 17th through the 23rd. So I have some really exciting things going on this week. First of all, on Wednesday, I'm teaching a class here in my, I'm teaching a class here in my Palm City office, and it is tarot readings for personalities and relationships. This will be an operational class teaching readers how to see relationship dynamics, personality, compatibility, not just in love relationships, but in all relationships. Tickets are $37.50. There are still tickets available. Hey, Neil, Deidre, Alicia, so nice to see you. Thanks for being here. So on Saturday morning at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time over on my YouTube channel, Christiana Gaudet, I will be doing a free live webinar on working with the tarot court. So grab your tarot decks and come join us live on Saturday. Obviously, you're going to have to do the time calculation. I'm doing it at 1030 my time, which is Eastern Standard Time. That's New York time. And uh, so wherever in the world you are, I hope you'll be able to join us for that. Now, on Sunday, we are having our grand opening celebration for my new Palm City office, which, as you remember, we moved into at the end of October. Now, I'm telling you this just because I am so excited about it. Uh, right now, there are no available tickets. If you would like to attend this event, you can reach out. I'll put you on a wait list. Tickets are free, but seating is limited. So this is our grand opening celebration. It's Sunday, February 23rd from 3 to 6. We will begin with a presentation by Chiro Marchetti, tarot artist extraordinaire, has agreed to be here and give us a presentation. And we'll finish with a psychic gallery with me. There will be opportunity for signing and shopping. And so those of you who have signed up to be there with us. We look forward to seeing you. Anyone else, if you would like, you can reach out and let me know of your interest. And if a space opens up, we'll be happy to welcome you. One way or the other, I am super grateful to Chiro Marchetti for agreeing to share his time and talent with us on Sunday. All right, let's say hi to a lot of people. Rogerio, Karen, Jan, Robin, Julie, Elizabeth, TK, Cheryl, Rhonda, so happy to see you all. And TK and Cheryl, you are signed up to be here with us on Sunday. So we will look forward to seeing you then. And once again, there are still tickets available to our class on Wednesday evening. So I'd love to see as many people as possible there as well. All right. So here's what we do every Monday. This is an opportunity for us to see the available energies around us. What's going on? If it resonates for you, take it as a reading. If, of course, you are interested in a more in-depth personal reading, I am available for readings by phone, Skype, FaceTime, Messenger, and, of course, here in my Palm City office. Cheryl says she's so excited for Sunday. So am I. Very good, very good. Okay, uh, Peggy Lou, nice to see you here. Rocio, nice to see you here. And uh, Robin says, come to our new state of Tennessee. Well, I hope you enjoy Tennessee, but actually, uh, I hope you and everyone considers coming to see us in Florida for our first ever international tarot convention that will be January 22nd through, through 24th, 2021 at Palm Beach Gardens. And I hope everyone is making plans to join us there. Hey, T, nice to see you. TK is looking forward to Sunday as 
well. So let's see. Today I am working with one of my favorite tarot decks. It is Crystal Visions Tarot. Let's see what we've got. What are the energies available to us? What advice do we see for the week of February 17th through 23rd, 2020? Okay, let's see what we got going on. First card is the Empress. So this is a great card for any kind of fertility, not just growing our families, but our creativity, uh, our business, our, our bank accounts. What do you want to nurture and create this week? This is a good card to support that. This is also a card about family. Uh, it may tell you to give your mom a call. If your mom is in spirit, it may ask you to make a spiritual connection with her. And if you are looking to become pregnant, this card is a very, very good sign. If you are not looking to become pregnant, well, better take precautions. So this is a great way to start the week. If you are looking to begin a creative project or nurture a creative project, this energy absolutely supports you. And let's say hi to Nicola and Rhonda. So glad you guys are here. What will our next card be? The next card is the Six of Swords reversed. So this can be about feeling stuck. And it's so funny because we see these two cards together. The Empress offers all of this creative energy, all of this nurturance. And yet the Six of Swords stays stuck in old thinking. And so you are really asked to look at what ways are you stuck in your own old thinking. Hey, Carol, nice to see you. And when we put these two cards together, it may be about old thinking that you learned in childhood that isn't serving you. It may be about things your mother said or did that didn't serve you, that you need to heal from and that you need to release. So this week, you wanna be really careful about stuck thinking. And remember, you know what else is today? Today is the first day of Mercury retrograde. So, you know, that can really come into the stuck thinking. You know, each retrograde, each Mercury retrograde is different. Each planetary retrograde is different. And we experience them all differently. I have already started experiencing the shadow of this Mercury up, uh, retrograde, which for me is about... <sighs> not feeling very patient when I don't like the way people are communicating with me. That's how it's showing up for me. And when I look at these two cards in that regard, I think I need to be more nurturing and I need to not get stuck in my thinking that someone may be intentionally being obnoxious. Maybe they don't mean to be obnoxious at all. All right. See if, if that shows up for you as well. Okay, our final card, another reversed swords. And I shuffled, you saw me shuffle, but look, we had the six of swords reversed and now we have the five of swords reversed. And remember that swords is air, is about communication, is about technology. And these are the things that Mercury is about as well. Mercury in retrograde, is a difficult thing. It happens like three times a year. Mercury is the swiftest moving planet, so we deal with it in retrograde more often than any other planet. And it is all about communication, delayed communication when in retrograde, uh, connections that don't work. So you wanna be especially careful with your computers, with your cars. And so these two cards really do speak to that energy of Mercury retrograde and how we want to be extra special careful about our communication. Now, the Five of Swords reversed. This is actually a card I like to see reversed because when the Five of Swords is upright, it speaks to an unavoidable battle. When the Five of Swords is reversed, we can have diplomacy. So try to be open to the possibility of diplomacy. Be willing to have a hard conversation, even though you wanna be careful about that in Mercury retrograde. Nonetheless, be willing to have a hard conversation. Be willing to compromise with someone. 
be willing to listen and to listen, as the Empress says, in a way that is nurturing, in a way that is caring, in a way that is supportive. And so these cards can instruct us about how we want to approach this Mercury retrograde, but also offer good instruction in general, with the Empress reminding us to be nurturing, to be creative, to work toward fertility in all ways in our lives. The Six of Swords reversed, telling us to get out of stuck thinking. You know, in its upright position, the Six of Swords talks to us of logic and how we move forward with science and with logical thinking. When this is reversed, we have to ask ourselves, in what way are we resisting logical thinking? And with the Five, perhaps we can avoid rising to the battle. Perhaps instead we can nurture diplomacy one with another. So there's your three card weekly reading. I do want to remind you to mark your calendars for January 22nd through 24th, 2021 for StarCon, the Southeastern Tarot Artist and Readers Conference. We will be doing a lot of tarot over that weekend. We will also be doing other kinds of cardomancy and divination. And so whatever your skill level and wherever your energy is there, We've got something great for you. We've got people coming in from all over the world to teach and to present. Our headliners will be Benabel Wen and Mary Kay Greer. So plan on not mention, missing that one. And in the meantime, for those of you who are signed up for a grand opening on Sunday, we're really looking forward to seeing you there and welcoming Chiro Marchetti to my new office. And remember, I am teaching a live and in-person class this Wednesday, readings for personalities and relationships. One thing that tarot is particularly good at is helping us with our relationship dynamics. I'm going to show you how that works. Okay, and Robin says, this was very appropriate for me for this weekend today. Okay, so you know what to do. If you find this message helpful, take it as a reading. If you feel like you need something more specific, reach out to me. I'm available for readings by phone, Skype, FaceTime, Messenger, and here in person in Palm City. I'm also planning my trip up north. I will be in Connecticut April 22nd through May 4th. Would love to see you there available for parties, house calls, and I'll also be doing readings at True Bikram Yoga in Madison. So reach out to me about that as well. Let me just say hi to Teresa and to Dawn. Nice to see you. And TK echoing diplomacy is the key. Heck yeah, that seems to be the message today. Hey, Martha, nice to see you here. Hope you are uh, enjoying uh, enjoying your week, or I, I don't know if your week away has already ended or if you're in it right now, whatever it is, I hope you had a good time. And I hope to see all of you soon. If you haven't hit like here on my page, please do. And remember, my YouTube webinar this Saturday, my YouTube channel, Christiana Gaudet. Make sure you subscribe, and I'd love to see you there this Saturday. If you happen to be watching this in archive on Facebook or YouTube or Instagram, I thank you so much for being here, too. Have a great week, everyone. Don't let Mercury retrograde keep you from communicating. It's important to communicate. Just do it with love and nurturance. Do it with diplomacy, and do it carefully. Thank you guys so much. Take care.